Today we're going to be working on this magazine cover transition. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to change my background to black. I just want to do that because I want to kind of pop in off the page a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab a photo that we want to use. Um, I used uh, this one here. Or I could use this one here, like whatever one you do. Let's try this one because I like using this one. I think with this one is just so pretty. So what I want to do now that after I've picked out my photo, I am going to go and I'm going to grab me a square. And I'm going to start making the sides of my magazine. Now you don't want to use a square and hollow out the middle because you need to have the pieces move. So now we're going to get like a yellowish tone that kind of looks like the National Geographic color. So we kind of go in here and kind of make that like a darker, deeper yellow. Like so. Let's see, play around a little bit. We don't want it that deep. Like that looks pretty good. And then oh, what you want to do is start framing out your photo. So what I want to do now is just start making my edges of my magazine. Now you want to make sure that you're going to have big enough space to frame it out. So if you want to get it to the top and the bottom so you can have a, a center point. And then I'm just going to duplicate this one. I am going to bring it over to the other side. And then I am going to make another one. I'm going to duplicate that. I am going to flip it around and ooh, sort of kind of flip it around. They get squirrely on y'all. 90. I want 90. There we go. And then I'm going to take you that. Uh, nope. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to take it to the top. Line it up. Shorten it up. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate that. And then I'm going to put one down at the bottom. Now I have the outside of my magazine cover. And we're going to have to make a lot of pull tabs for this because we're going to pull this. We're going to pull a lot of it off of the page when we go to expand. So bear with me with that. So we're just going to do this part for, we're going to do our setup first. So, and then you're going to go in and get your text. And I'm just going to put random text up there because I'm just showing y'all technique. You know how I do. So we're just going to put a heading, make it white so you can see. And then I'm going to grab another type type of text and put that at the bottom. We're going to turn that one white. And we're going to just get rid of the G. Let's get rid of the G. Backspace. Put that down at the bottom. You can use whatever color text you want to. Um, I am going to pull this upwards. So I need some space at the bottom. So I'm going to put enter a little bit on this one and I'm going to pull this down on this way. So what I want to do is hit that first letter there and enter and enter. So now I got room where I can pull this off of the page like so when I need to make the transition. And this one can go off the page without getting the box off the page so it doesn't disappear. So now that I have whatever text I want, I also use this. Let's see. I used a little white box, a little white box. And I found, let's see if I can find it, a little barcode like this one. And I just put it in the box. Um, I've seen people use a, a QIR code. I found this on PowerPoint and the PowerPoint is amazing. If y'all ever see it, I didn't see a whole tutorial. I just saw a short on it, but it's like, it's amazing. Uh, they have a lot more features you can do in PowerPoint with this and make it look really fantastic. But Canva just does not have those features to do that with. So you can make your little barcode box and I'm going to go in there and grab my control key. I'm going to group that together and then you're just going to put that down in the corner like so. And then I am going to grab that last bar, hit my control key and group that together. So that just stays on that bar right there. I could have moved that over just a smidge to kind of line that up a little bit better, but I'm just showing you all technique. So now I have my magazine cover ready to go, looking all 
feel like I need to change those back and forth, but we're just doing technique. Getting a little funny on my stuff. So the next thing we need to do is grab two more squares. I want one here because we're going to need to cover up this. So whatever color you're going to use for your background, I would use a solid color so you could do this. I'm going to use a solid color and I am going to take it off like so. And then we're going to do that because we want to hide. I'm going to turn them black. And also, oh, that's not black. That's a kind of gray. I'm going to turn them black also. And what you can do here is I'm going to grab this one. I am going to go into position and I am going to find on my side one it matches with. Hit my control key and I'm going to group that together. I'm going to do the same with this one. I'll get that one. Find my other side right here. And then I'm going to hit my control key, highlight it, and group that together. Now here comes the fun part. We need to make pull tabs. So let's go back into elements and start grabbing little, little squares and make pull tabs. So you're going to have to make a pull tab for everything you're going to pull off. So you need one for each side you're going to pull off. So that would be four squares. So what I'm going to do in a position so we can see i'm gonna grab that pull tab here and i am going to add it to this one right here so let's see let's see where it highlights that's that one right there so i'm gonna hit my control key grab that group it then i'm gonna hit click that square right there and make it transparent so i got a pull tab for that one so and now i'm gonna grab another square do the same for the other side go in my position like so Grab hold of it. Grab a hold of it. Sometimes the little thing does not go on there, and I don't like that. And then I am going to find this piece right here, which is that one's highlighted. Grab it. Hit my control. Grab that. Now they're together. I'm going to group them. I'm going to click that. Make that transparent. Now we need to do the top. So we're going to go in here. Grab another one. These don't have to be fancy or any kind of any kind of size because you're not going to be able to see them so and then we're going to go back in our position that's highlighted let's grab the top one that's the one that doesn't have anything with it group click on that square make it transparent and then we're going to do the last one go back into elements you can go ahead and grab and duplicate these squares instead of going back and forth if you want to just make four and put them on the side and then kind of lay some over here just for speed and what we're going to do is highlight that with the control key and then i am going to group those together i'm going to grab that there and make that transparent now the next thing i want to do because i want to transition in with my next slide is i'm going to cheat for a second i'm going to go over to my projects let's see in my projects let's see what i got going on here i'm going to pull in here i'm going to grab my second slide real quick because i want to take this so i'm going to grab this let's go into position to make sure it grabs all of it and i'm going to control c this and then i am going to well i don't even have to control c here's my noodle you can just go over here drag it to this one there we go so i want that coming up so you're going to make your text make some space at the top so you can pull it off I'm going to get rid of this real quick. Delete page. So now we have our first. We're set up and ready to go. So the next thing I need to do is duplicate the page. And what you want to do is start pulling. So if you want to, you can kind of, this is kind of what I did. I kind of made it bigger, pulled it off to the side like so. Made this one bigger. Pull it off to the side like so. Make sure that box stays on there so it doesn't disappear. That's why we have our little pull tabs, right? And then same here, you can make this a little bigger. You want to, so it'll kind of like grow as it's going off. Same here, make this bigger. Like so pull it down. Take your text, pull it up. Take your bottom text, pull it down. You're going to take your photo, 
And now you're going to expand it to fill the page. Like so. And then we're going to grab our text and we're going to bring it up. Now I know that's white and you can't see it, but that's where it is. So after you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go in here, use the match and move, turn the duration all the way up. And here we're going to look at it. You can change your timing on here, whatever way you want to. And then we're just going to watch and see what we got going on. And voila. You see, there's something right here in this line. Let's do a little. Uh, might have need to make uh, this little black box here just a hair bit bigger. Can you see? I can faintly, faintly, faintly see a line right here. Sometimes, not all the time. It's weird. Sometimes Canva does weird stuff like that, but could have made my box a little big right here in my black box. But that's just, that's easy peasy. Um, one day, if we ever get to use the white space, all those little pull tabs, gone, and it would make life so much easier. And if you want to go ahead and do it, you can uh, keep going. You could just put stuff in here and make different transitions with it. Maybe do something here like a flow. Wait, wait, where's my flow? Flow. And then have something like that with your next picture coming in, like a flow or something like that. And just go ahead and make your presentation. Unless you want to do magazine covers of each one. And then all you have to do with that, let's delete that page, would be go in here, duplicate the page, bring this over, and... Go into position, grab this photo, delete it, go in elements, grab your other photo, size it the way it needs to be sized to go in there, go into position, put it in the back, put it behind there like so, and change a word there and just duplicate the page. You, if you're going to do that and you're going to have larger photos, what I would do is make sure you maybe take your black boxes all the way out to the edges. That way you have good coverage. And then you can duplicate that, do the same thing. We're just going to do a small pull, 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 pull. Maybe you change the text in that and then bring this one out. Like so. Or if you want to do something where you have like a yellow box with some text in it over here, you can make one of those and pull that out. Say that had a, you just want, hey, I want to keep this here and have my text in it. Make this bigger and do something like that. Uh, let's do that. The Congo. And then we can watch that transition. So we go here. And it can morph into something like that. But just play around and have fun. Y'all are the designers. And my brain goes in crazy directions. And you know what? I love you guys. Glad you stuck with me. Hope you come back for the next one. I got a couple of things cooking in my brain. So hopefully y'all will be excited. As I said before, I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.